Hello everyone. Welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I have another book review to do to, to do with you today. I'm going to have to upload these probably all at once because I've been super busy, but I've got a few that I'll be putting on on the same day. Anyway, the book review I have to do today is Catify to Satisfy by Jackson Galaxy and Kate Benjamin. And first and foremost, Jackson is my absolute hero when it comes to anything cat. So this is unashamedly un, uh, unbiased review, but I really enjoyed the book. The writing is very clear and concise. There are beautiful pictures. There are different examples of different types of catification. Um, like there's these great big beautiful ones. And incidentally enough, this one was done by a fellow who's on the autistic scale. So yeah, it looks a little overwhelming and a lot to do, but it's it's broken down into the steps that he did and step by step. Plus it also shows like simple things. Um, uh, like, yeah, here, simple things like a if you have to use a baby gate, different techniques to keep the dog still out and the cat can go in and out and and that kind of thing. What um, the one page or, or, or chapter that I didn't like is there's a whole chapter on how to hide your litter box. And I agree 100% with Jackson Galaxy about... <sighs> If the, if the cat is part of your life, if the cat is part of your family and a litter box is something that makes them feel comfortable, why should we try to hide it? It's like having a child and the child says he likes drums, but we need to put the drums under a cover to pretend that they're not there. That's not showing love. That's not showing acceptance. That's hiding a part of who they are. And the litter box is a part of who a cat is. And the problem with hiding litter boxes and making these, and they are, they're gorgeous little covers, is that you hide them away and then they're out of sight, out of mind. So then how often does this litter box get cleaned? Now, I'm one to talk. I have six cats now and I only have four litter boxes. Um, but I'm, I'm in a basically a, a, a three room apartment. So I'm kind of stuck that way. But out of the four litter boxes, these boxes are cleaned three times a day. And I have it set up that I have the scoop and, and pan and pail right by the litter box. And because they're open, if I walk by and they're filthy, you got to clean them. Now, the flip side of that is if you have a dog and you need to keep the dog out of your litter, Okay, then I understand that you have to work with what you got, but do you really need to have it hidden away as if it wasn't part of the cat? Um, so that that kind of irked me. Um, and, and it's not like I didn't have cats with dogs. I did. I used to have greyhounds, and I trained them not to go in the box. Um, it takes work. It takes a lot of work, and it takes monitoring and, and making sure that that box is cleaned every chance you get. But that's part of owning a cat. You don't own a cat because they're easy to take care of. You own a cat because you want another member of your family. Um, but other than that, and I, I understand why they have that in there, because there's going to be people who just will not give at all with the litter box issue. And if it's either you have to work with the litter box issue with the human or the cat goes, work with the litter box issue. Other than that, really quick book to read, um, very short, well done pictures, very sturdy book. I brought this book back and forth to work with me and it survived okay. So all of my cat peeps, um, Catify to Satify by Jackson Galaxy, really good book. There's only, I think, one more that he's done that I don't have, Catification. And that will be the next one I purchase and read. Anyway, I will let you guys know when I have another book read. Thank you very much.